Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I haven't filmed in like a week. You don't know that because I had videos going up, but for me it's been like a week. I took a week off from filming. Um, but I am going to be starting trying something new. I'm going to be trying vlogs five times a week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, a video every day. It is now Monday, it's Cyber Monday, whatever November. Where are we? 30, 29, 20, 20. So it's the 26th. So I'm filming a week ahead. So when you watch it, you'll be a week behind. Does that make sense? Just so that I don't have to like film a vlog, put it up. Film a vlog, put up same day. I'm starting a week ahead because I have videos going up this week. Um, so I just wanted to try it. I just wanted to try that daily vlogging, but I'm not gonna commit to seven days a week because I need my weekends off. I need some time away. So we're gonna try for a while. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you're gonna get a video every day, vlog style. Mostly, of course, it's going to be eBay stuff. You're going to see what I'm selling on eBay. Um, if I pick up anything for eBay, and then, like, if I get an unboxing, subscription box, if I go anywhere, that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to see what it's like. I just want to switch things up. Um, you guys always liked the kind of vlog style with everything combined. So we're just going to see how it goes. So anyway, if you want to see how that goes, make sure you are subscribed. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. So like I said, it's Monday, it's Cyber Monday. I have five eBay orders to start the day. I'm not anticipating anything big in terms of sales because every store is having such crazy, amazing sales. Why would anybody come and shop on eBay? Fourth quarter thus far has been eh. I mean, sales have been up, but I'm already starting to see my 30 day numbers go down because now we're in December and you know, people, usually aren't coming to eBay as much in December. They're out shopping the regular retail. So right now I am still in liquidation mode. I am trying to move as much as possible by the end of the year. So in order to do that, I have free shipping on almost everything right now because I want it gone. Um, I am running sales and I'm doing promoted listings. Basically promoted listings, I think I'm doing 4% across the board on everything. And right now I have a sale... I have anywhere from 15 up to 30%. I did different categories and stuff. So it hasn't really made that big of a difference. It's not like major stuff has been selling, but again, I'm trying to get as much out of here by the end of the year. But um, yeah, my hopes that that is really gonna happen at this point, you know, again, we're st actually still in November this year. Christmas is like longer because you get that extra week in November with Thanksgiving being so early. So yeah. Um, we'll see. I'm, I'm happy with where I am right now. I'm not holding my breath that things are going to get better, but if they do great, if not, if I kind of keep as I am, that's okay too. So anyway, I'm going to turn the camera around now and we shall see what has sold overnight. And I'm just going to round up, you know, these are like 99 cents or the ending. I'm just going to round up. So $34 for this Daisy Dot Marcrest pot. I would not buy these again. Not that they don't sell. Um, but they're very, very heavy, and they're very, very slow. They have sold better on Etsy when I was selling some stuff on Etsy, but as of now, they're just kind of like, eh. Um, this little cherished teddy, 16 bucks. This magical maestro mouse, $68. This Land's End fleece, 20 It's a 3X. And this Marisa sweater, 19 um, everything free shipping, of course. So for this, for sure, that's going to hurt because that is, um, a lot, but again, they aren't moving. I want stuff to move. I want stuff out of here. Things I won't be getting in the future. Like I said, this kind of super heavy pottery, I'm trying to avoid China unless it's super, super, super valuable. So I won't be doing that anymore because it's heavy. <laughs> I want stuff that's heavy and takes up so much room. I don't want to do that anymore. I want to focus on smalls. Um, still trying to move these Hummels. Still trying to move these Henri figurines. That was probably not a good buy. They're valuable, but yet on eBay, they go for super low. Like if you go to replacements.com, they're way expensive, but on eBay, they're just, they're not. So that's something I paid up for. I wish I hadn't, but live and learn. I did pay up for some Hummels. I mean, they've been okay. The past week I've sold, I don't know, two or three, but you know, this coming year, it's going to be about paying as little as possible for stuff. I'm not going to be thinking about, oh, what do I want to sell? I'm going to be thinking about what can I get for super, super cheap 
that is small, easy to list, easy to store, easy to ship. That is what we're going to be doing in 2019. But until then, I got this stuff to go. However, the good news is, is that I can take this stuff to the consignment store. So, um, once things wind down here for the end of the year, I'm going to start taking China into the consignment store because they mark it way up. This pattern, these patterns of dance, not good, which I, well, I did it a bulk lot, so it just got a ton of stuff. But if I had to pick this up individually, I wouldn't get these, this, and there's a lot of different ones. They're kind of, they all look the same, but they're all different colors. Like there's a gray and a taupe and a mauve. Um, I wouldn't do that anymore. Um, we've got Nortaki down there that has not moved. That is kind of more of a spring pattern, but it was there in the spring and it still hasn't moved. Um, I do have this Lennox, which I'm holding on to. Lennox. Um, more danced. I have sold a lot of dishes because I've broken them up, you know, into smaller sets, but yet I still got stragglers. This set, um, this is Francescan or Franciscan. I'm kind of surprised that hasn't gone. But Haviland, you know, it just, you got to wait for the right person to come along and get it. And I'm kind of like over it when this takes up so much room and this stuff is so heavy. So anyway, I've still got lots of clothes. These, this rack has not been listed. I haven't listed any clothes. Well, I haven't done photographs of clothing in a week. It's been really cloudy, stormy here and I need the natural light. So I've been doing other things. This is my men's rack. I hear Christmas. I want this gone. The poppy trail stuff has sold better on Etsy. I'm getting off of Etsy. I can talk about that later. It's not that Etsy is bad. It's just you do have to kind of work their algorithm. And with Etsy, I've noticed it's better if you have a curated shop. I mean, I've heard some people say they have like six Etsy shops. I'm not doing that. I just want to have everything on eBay. So um, some more China. We've got these plates. I got like in a bulk buy. These aren't really great either. Um, that heavy stuff up there. John Deere stuff has been moving okay. Toys, Disney, that's been going a bit in the past week. Wrapping paper, of course. Crafting stuff. It just, you know, it hasn't been the fourth quarter like it has been in years past. And eBay isn't like it used to be. So it's hard for me to pay, you know, wow, the economy's great. More people than ever shopping online. Why is eBay so down? But there's so much competition. And eBay's been messing with stuff the past year. So I think there are shoppers who've gotten annoyed. Maybe they're just going to other places. Because right now, you can get anything you want in the world for half off at the regular stores. Here's the crafting stuff. Um, other thing I'm doing is that I have been doing Good Till Canceled this year because I wanted to try the list it and forget it method. That has not worked. So I'm going back to what I've always done, which is 30 days, items end. I do a sell similar so it starts as a new item unless it's a multi-quantity listing. But everything will be ending here at the end of the year so I can inventory, decide what I want to relist, decide what's going to the consignment store. So anyway, that is what's going on here now. So we got to get upstairs and... Um, get these items shipped out. I'm out running errands and I drove by Arby's and they're like, the Andy's mint shake is back and Papa loves that. So I stopped and got him one. They also said they had an apple crisp and he loves apple crisp. So I'm getting him one of those too. Hopefully he'll eat them because he doesn't like to eat much anymore. Anyway, in line at the Arby's. Woo, this is an exciting vlog. I hope you guys are going to like these vlogs every day, weekdays, because this is the kind of riveting footage you're going to get me in line at uh, Arby's. Okay, back home. Um, gave Papa the shake and the apple crisp and he wanted to put the apple crisp in the fridge. I had taken the lid off to show him, he wanted to see what it was. So as I'm walking to the fridge, trying to put the lid back on, I open the fridge door and I drop the apple crisp. So no apple crisp. The dog's got a lot of it. <sighs> what a mess. Anyway, so now he has the shake. So. Uh, it's always something. Um, three more eBay orders. This little Disney mug. Obviously, the box is messed up, but the, it's actually new stock. It was never used. I don't know how that got messed up so bad. Um, this was from that Scandinavian shop estate sale. So maybe she had a price sticker on it. Anyway, $11.99. Express top. Really trying to move the small, medium, largest out of here. $14.99. And then this Northcrest 4X. Yeah, I'm there. I'll bring it in in a minute. 
I got to bring the car back in because I had to move the mower and the snowblower around because the snowblower doesn't work, which is a whole other story. Um, they're coming to pick it up tomorrow. Uh, 4X North Crest quilted vest, $27.99. Um, and, and all of these items are shipping for free. I'll go via first class. Say hello to the video. Hello, video. Tell the story again. The sailor going up and down the train. What was that about now? Oh. So you're coming home we from California. Home. Yep. In the Navy. Probably yep. like 1951 or two. No, somewhere along there. Okay. So you're on the train from California to Iowa. And what happens? It's at Christmas time? Yeah, it's Christmas time. And, well, one of, the soul, one of the sailors got a little jet drinking a little too much. And he was right up and down the aisle. What, uh, slap that? Happy New Year? Yeah. Have a slap Happy New Year. <laughs> well, that's not very safe to be running up and down the train. No. You having fun doing all this shipping? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And money. Ed means money. And your Andy's Mint Shake along with a root beer. Right, Lizzie? Yes. Johnny. You guys had some apple crisp, didn't you, that fell on the floor? Oh, boy. And you didn't get much of it. No, that's not good for you. It's not good. It's okay. So I came out to start getting dinner ready and the sink backed up and then started leaking. Um, yeah, awesome, great. So put in for a call. Of course, now it's gonna be after hours. It did stop leaking. Oh my God, it is always something. It is always something. I tell you what. <sighs> So just sold this um, Ranger Station lighted house. It is from just Christmas Gallery. Um, it sold for $33.44, for, er, $33 good grief, $33.99. The buyer had wanted to know if there was a chip, but see they put little pink things on it to make it look like snow. So I just sent her an up close photo of that so she would know. Um, again, it is free shipping, but again, this stuff needs to get out of here. It's Christmas, we need to sell the Christmas stuff. So free shipping, I'll do it. That's what I'll do. So it's Monday night now. $400 later from the plumber. Oh my gosh. After hours call, need a new garbage disposal. So there's that. Anyway, it is what it is. What are you gonna do? Uh, this plate, Scarlet and Winter. I don't know why I got that. I gotta stop getting plates. Uh, Danbury Mint. I picked it up because it was cheap and it's birds. And if there's one thing with these collectible stuff, it's usually the birds that sell. But anyway, on sale, this sold for $16.99. It does have free shipping, but I'm just happy to um, get rid of it. I don't know that the consignment store would take this. They might. Um, but anyway, some, you know, they don't take everything at the consignment store. So while it is my go to place for um, selling, eBay duds, they don't take everything. So if I can get it off on eBay first, it's always usually gonna be better. Um, but anyway, that is gonna wrap up my first attempt at daily vlogging, again, five days a week. We're taking weekends off. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you like this video, I hope you've given it a thumbs up and that you are subscribed. Leave any um, comments below. I've also uh, just started a Patreon, which I will link below. I'm still toying with it till you know, figure out what I want to do with it. But if you have, have suggestions, what you think would be good to offer exclusively to Patreon members, let me know. And um, I'd like to make it like probably the easiest thing for me to do is if I, you know, answer questions there and things. Um, I'm not sure. But anyway, I'll link the Patreon below if you want to go look at it. But yeah, if you have suggestions about that, I'd love to hear them in the comments um, below. So anyway, guys, I'll see you tomorrow for another vlog. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.